Welcome to the TubeBuddy Express podcast, brought to you by TubeBuddy, the number one tool to make your YouTube life easy. Each week, we discuss how you can utilize TubeBuddy to enhance your YouTube experience and make your life as a creator easier. And now, here's your host, Dusty Porter. Hello and welcome back to episode 85 of the TubeBuddy Express podcast. My name is Dusty Porter, the host of this wonderful show where every single Friday I bring to you a 7 to 10 minute audio clip of a tip or strategy or technique that can help you grow on your YouTube channel. We'd like to remind you, as always, this show is brought to you by the fine folks over at TubeBuddy, the browser plugin, the Swiss Army Knife browser plugin that literally changed my YouTube life. If you're looking for a tool, a one-stop shop that will help you, that will make you more efficient, Go click on the link in the show notes, check it out, download it. I promise you'll message me later and say, Dusty, thank you so much for revealing this awesome tool to me. So definitely go check that out too, buddy. The links will be in the description. Also, want to let you guys know we are all over the interwebs, whether it be iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, we're even on Spotify now, on Overcast, anywhere where you can consume audio podcast. that's where we are. Now, uh, just a little uh, house cleaning, a little heads up, you can find me over on my YouTube channel, just Dusty Porter on YouTube. I do tutorials, technology tutorials, software tutorials, that kind of thing. Also do YouTube training. You can also find me on my other long form podcast called YouTube Creators Hub, where I interview YouTubers like yourself, and talk with them about their journey. It's an awesome behind-the-scenes look of what goes on in the creator's day-to-day workflow. Such a cool show. Love doing it. And so go check me out on one of those outlets. I also want to give a shout-out to John Pullum. Uh, He left us a review over on iTunes. He said, I love this podcast. I've had a channel on YouTube for around nine years, but I've recently been wanting to go full steam ahead with it. I want to learn from those that are doing great. After installing TubeBuddy and realizing what an incredible product that it is, I figured their podcast would be just as great, and I was right. That's awesome, man. That's what we're trying to do here at TubeBuddy is to create a streamlined place for everyone to come, whether it be our live streams, whether it be our podcast, our uploaded videos on our channel. We are here to help you. And that's it. That's our goal. And we're creating tools and content to facilitate that. So, John, thank you so much. If you want a shout out on next week's show, go over, leave us a review. We'd love to hear what you think of the show. Got a really cool uh, topic to uh, talk about today. I have five tools, I have five free tools that will help you as a YouTube creator. And so I begin to think a lot of these episodes that I do, uh, I always talk about different tools and different things like that, but a lot of times they're rather expensive and things like that. But today I have scoured the internet, I've scoured my workflow, other creators that I've interviewed on my other show, and I'm going to bring to you the, the four or five tools that you can use for absolutely free. A lot of times people and creators come to me and they say, Dusty, I don't have enough money to subscribe to Photoshop or Creative Cloud, or I don't have enough money to buy Final Cut Pro. But I can tell you what you do have enough money for, free. F-R-E-E. And that is what I'm here to talk about today. So let's go ahead and kick it off. First thing I want to talk about is GIMP and Snapseed. So GIMP and Snapseed are both photo editors. GIMP you can use on mobile or desktop, doesn't matter, Windows or Mac. And Snapseed is a mobile application. I was talking to a creator this past week on my other show. He does amazing thumbnails. Like literally, they are top notch. If I were to rank his among the whole crew on YouTube, his would be at the top of the list. And he did it all on his mobile device using Snapseed. Both of these are absolutely free. So GIMP, G-I-M-P, and Snapseed, S-N-A-P-S-E-E-D, such great tools to help you take your visual branding to the next level. There's no need to go and purchase the Creative Cloud or get Photoshop or get Pixelmator Pro when you can use free tools like GIMP and Snapseed. Now, I do want to say this and caution you guys from this. I'm not saying that you don't need to pay for anything. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to get by just on these free tools. But these tools will help you decrease your cost take your budget down, and allow you to spend money on things that that might be a little more important, like a really nice microphone or a decent camera, something of that nature. Or you may even need a computer or a PC, a Mac to edit on, and that'll help you afford that as well. Next, now this one may seem obvious, but it's not to most people. 
if you're looking to write scripts, which I don't necessarily say that I recommend you, you write scripts for every one of your videos, but if you do, if you like to script it out, at least put an outline for your video, which I do recommend that, I use Google Docs. So the whole Google suite of applications, whether it be Google Docs for script writing, whether it be Google Sheets for taxes, we're in the middle of tax season right now. As an entrepreneur, as a YouTuber, I have to write, I'm trying to write off as much as I possibly can. And so I'm using the Google suite of apps like Google Sheets to allow me to do that. And so check out Google Docs, Google Sheets, all of that within their kind of free suite of software. Uh, I love using Google Docs to script out my videos. Next is for audio editing. There is a tool, an application called Audacity. You can download Audacity for Windows, Mac, or Linux. It is a free piece of software that will allow you to record audio, edit audio, and now it's not as robust as say Adobe Audition or Logic or something else that you may have edited your audio in before, but Audacity has that thing that those tools don't have. It's got a free price tag on it. So if you go Google Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, I have actually done a whole month where I wanted to test it. I, I normally use Adobe Audition, obviously, which is what I'm recording this podcast on right now, but I did a whole month of testing where basically all I did was record all of my audio in Audacity. And honestly, yeah, there's a few tools that I missed here and there, but for free, I was able to do it completely fine and no one even could tell the difference. So definitely check out Audacity. And then the last one I want to talk about, one that I've been using much more frequently here lately, is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And on my notes here, I put use for channel branding slash thumbnails. So not only can you design thumbnails from their templates that they have available for you for absolutely free, you can also use Canva to design your channel artwork or your channel banner. So the thing that everyone sees up there, they have templates for that too. And so I just recently did a tutorial on that over on my YouTube channel if you're interested to seeing kind of what it looks like visually. But Canva is C-A-N-V-A. Literally, this company has gone from this small company where, you know, when I first discovered them years ago, five, six, seven, eight years ago, where all they did was just image editing, very, very basic image editing, to now they literally have monetized it to where, you know, if you want to purchase their premium templates, you can, but in all honesty, you don't have to because the templates for the free thumbnails and for the free channel artwork over on Canva are just as good. And this company is continuing to innovate and continuing to come out with more and more templates. Are you wanting to up your social media game with your Facebook or Instagram or something like that? They have templates for all of that as well. All you do is click on the template, you drag and drop, you edit. It couldn't be simpler. If you have no photo editing experience, it doesn't matter because the templates basically will guide you to get you to a point to where your visual branding looks on point, even if you're not experienced. So if you don't have the money now to hire a graphic designer or to go and get Photoshop with the Creative Cloud Suite, whatever your reasoning may be, Canva allows you to do that. So definitely go check that out, Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And then lastly, again, I don't really know how important this one is. I'm not gonna say that I recommend this over other website editors, but I will say this. If you don't have a website or if you don't have a, a common place for people to come to from your YouTube channel, you need to start working on that. And a lot of people say, well, I'm not very experienced in web design, anything like that. That's fine. But I do want to tell you for absolutely free of charge, all you've got to do is purchase your domain name and obviously hosting for the year. Uh, but you can get some discounts on that here and there. You can check the show notes to, to see kind of what I use. But basically, I always recommend WordPress. So WordPress is absolutely free. It is a very easy to use backend way to design a website. Now, again, you'll have to have a theme and all of that to go with it, but you can do all of that from within the WordPress backend. So let me just go ahead and recap. I basically covered it all here. So photo editing, you have GIMP, Snapseed, Google Docs and Google Sheets for script writing and taxes, Audacity for audio editing, Canva for visual branding, and WordPress for web design. So definitely at least check out one or two of these if you're trying to do this thing on a budget, which most of us are. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of the TubeBuddy Express show. Don't forget to subscribe everywhere, wherever you listen, and download TubeBuddy now. It's in the link in the show notes. And until next week, talk to you later.